So here's a fact. Some people seem to get sick all the time, but there's other people that seem to hardly ever get sick. And did you know that there's also animals that rarely ever get sick? And here's a list of the top 10 animals that hardly ever get sick, but also why. So stay tuned as we learn about the first one, which are crocodiles. These enormous reptiles have super strong immune systems that can fight almost any disease. Crocodiles are built to be tough and resilient with strong bodies and armored skin. I guess this is why crocodiles have been around for millions of years. Their immune systems are also super strong and have white blood cells that are very good at recognizing and attacking viruses and bacteria. And plus, crocodiles have a special protein in their blood that can kill off many types of different viruses. In fact, this protein is so powerful that scientists are studying it to see if it could help fight many human diseases and keep us healthy and safe too. Well, maybe not me, but humans. I'm not really a human, so, uh, come on, hit the camera. The next animal on the list is a naked mole rat. Yeah, I know they look funny, but these little rodents are almost never sick. And that's because they have unique cells in their bodies that can repair damaged DNA. And DNA is like the blueprint for all living things. So having cells that can repair themselves is very helpful for staying healthy. It's almost like a superpower. Hmm, naked mole rat. Maybe that can be my superhero name. What do you think? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> Next, we have sharks. And just like crocodiles, sharks have been around for millions of years, and their immune system has evolved to be very effective at fighting off infections. Sharks have a special type of white blood cell called granulocyte that can absorb and destroy bacteria. Plus, sharks have a protein in their blood called squalamine that can also kill viruses and bacteria. Basically, viruses and bacteria don't stand a chance. We all know that honeybees are known for being very important pollinators, but they are also very tough little insects. They have a substance in their bodies called propolis, which is made from tree resin and has antibacterial and antiviral properties in it. Tree resin is a syrupy liquid in trees and plants that starts to harden once it hits the air. Bees use propolis to seal cracks in their hives as well as protect themselves from infections. Next, we have cockroaches. Cockroaches are pretty gross, but they're also extremely tough. They can survive in harsh environments and are resistant to many types of infections. Cockroaches have a strong immune system that can recognize and attack harmful bacteria and viruses before it actually starts to hurt them. Pretty cool. Next, we have Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons are giant lizards that live on islands in Indonesia. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them what? Tell them about the video. We have a video of Komodo dragons. We sure do, and we'll link it in the description below. Good job. They are very strong and can run very fast, but they hardly ever get sick thanks to the antimicrobial properties in their saliva. When a Komodo dragon bites its prey, the saliva contains bacteria, killing chemicals that help prevent infection. Hmm, this is kind of like Komodo dragon's way of washing their hands before dinner, maybe? Well, it helps them, like, not get sick when they eat things. That's why, like, you wash your hands, right, before you eat dinner? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like their way of doing it, you think? Maybe? I don't know. I just wanted to say that. Just, just, ah, just next! Hmm. Interesting, Gus. Mm. Anyway, moving on. Next we have tardigrades. Tardigrades are also known as water bears. 
and they are very tiny creatures that live in, you guessed it, water. They are so small that you need a microscope to see them. But even though they are small, they are also very tough. And if I had arms, I'd flex right now. <clears throat> Tardigrades can survive in extreme conditions like freezing temperatures, boiling water, and even the vacuum of space. Wow. They can do this by going into a state of suspended animation where they basically shut down their bodies until conditions improve. Suspended animation. That's pretty cool. Next, we have elephants. Elephants are big, giant animals that live in Africa and Asia. Elephants have very strong immune systems that are especially good at recognizing and destroying cancer cells. And this is pretty amazing considering that cancer is a big problem for humans and many other animals. Next, we have bats. Bats are not birds. They're actually flying mammals. And they're very important for pollination as well as pest control. And bats are also able to tolerate viruses that would be lethal to other animals. And bats have a unique immune system that can recognize and attack harmful viruses without causing too much damage to their own bodies. And guess what? We have a video all about bats. We'll link that down below too in the description. And this is very important and a huge reason that bats hardly ever get sick. And last but not least, we have seahorses. Seahorses are beautiful creatures that live in the ocean. And seahorses are not just cool to look at, they also have a unique immune system that helps keep them very healthy. Seahorses have a protein in their blood called hippocampus that can kill harmful bacteria. Wait, what's it called? Hippocampus? I thought that's where hippos went to college. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, that's what I thought. Maybe, okay, it's a good thing you educated me with that. Thanks. You're welcome. And this is very helpful because seahorses are very small and it is easy for them to get infections. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about the top 10 animals that rarely get sick. And also, don't forget about all the other links in our description of videos that you can watch that you learned about in this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe.